Long ago, two races ruled over Earth, humans and monsters. One day, war broke out between the two races. After a long battle, the humans were victorious. They sealed the monsters underground with a magic spell. Many years later, Mount Ebbet, 21X. Legends say that those who climb the mountain never return. Greetings, programs. My name is Wretch, and I'd like to welcome you to Undertale. Now, this is a game that if you have seen anything on YouTube or DeviantArt or any of these websites, you're probably at least aware of a little bit of it. This game is, took the world by storm when it came out. Now, here's the interesting thing. I really don't know anything about this game. I have actively tried to avoid spoilers about the plot or the characters or anything like that. I have an idea about what I want to do for some of the voices, but... Other than that, that's pretty much all I know about the game, so I'm looking forward to going into this semi-blind. Let's go ahead and begin the game here. Name the Fallen Human. Now, from how I understand, the, the, the child that you play can be either a male or female. So let's find ourselves a nice unisex name. And I think the best one I can think of, actually, would be Sammy. Because I know quite a few Sammies, both male and female, and I think that'll work out for us quite nicely. Oops. Let's go ahead and actually spell Sammy correctly. There we are. I like the music, too. Apparently the music is also a really good sell point of this game. Is this name correct? Yes, indeed. Eh. That was kind of cool. So now we have control of Sammy. Looks like we landed in some flowers. That's good. The graphics are supposed to be very simple, but it's the story that isn't. And... Hi. Howdy. I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm. You're new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. See that heart? That's your soul, the very accumulation of your being. Your soul starts off weak, but can grow strong if you gain a lot of LV. What's LV stand for? Why, love of course. You want some love, don't you? Don't worry. I'll share some with you. Lunch first. Down here, love is shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around. Get as many as you can. You idiot. In this world, it's kill or be killed. Why would anyone pass up an opportunity like this? Oh lord. Die. Oh, this took a dark turn. Uh. Okay. What the terrible creature tor torturing such a poor, innocent youth? Ah, do not be afraid, my child. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. I pass through this place every day to see if anyone has fallen down. You are the first human to come here in a long time. Come, I will guide you through the catacombs. This way. 
Wow, the, I'm already liking this. Oh, I love piano pieces. Now, what are you? The shadow of the ruins looms above, filling you with determination. HP fully restored. Ah, it's our save point. Okay. Looks good to me. Welcome to your new home, innocent one. Allow me to educate you in the operation of the ruins. The ruins are full of puzzles. Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Oh, well there she went. Only the fearless may proceed. Brave ones, foolish ones, both walk, not the middle road. Only the penitent man may pass. To make progress here, you will need to trigger several switches. Do not worry, I have labeled the ones that you need to flip. Press Z to read signs. <laughs> Stay on the path. Well, you did mark the switches, didn't you? Please press this switch, Toriel. <laughs> it's a lot of conventions. I like this. Please press this switch, too. Splendid! I am proud of you, little one. Let us move to the next room. Um, dare we? This switch doesn't even work. Oh. I don't know if I should be looking for secrets or anything. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. However, worry not. The process is simple. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you're in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Stall for time. I will come to resolve the conflict. Practice talking to the dummy. Okie dokie. You encountered the dummy. Fight. Act. Whoa. Dummy stands around absent-mindedly. There we go. Ah, the dummies are not for fighting. They are for talking. We do not want to hurt anybody, do we? Come now. All right. There is another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. What do we got here? Hmm? Froggit attacks you. Oh, now we can move around. Act. Compliment. Or let's check. Froggit, attack four, defense five. Life is difficult for this enemy. Ooh, look at that glare. You won, earned zero XP and zero gold. That's the mom stare. The western room is the eastern room's blueprint. Ah! Okay, so it's like a snake. This is the puzzle, but... Here, take my hand for a moment. Oh, wow. And it's right, it's going right along the path. It's like the nicest RPG ever. 
Puzzles seem a little too dangerous for now. Huh. You have done excellently thus far, my child. However, I have a difficult request to ask of you. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this. Oh, music has taken a turn. Watch, there's gonna be nothing. It's just gonna be like... And nothing chasing after us. We'll just stay on the path here. Lots of zigs and zags. Greetings, my child. Do not worry. I did not leave you. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you for trusting me. However, there was an important reason for this exercise. To test your independence. I must attend to some business, and you must stay alone for a while. Please remain here. It's dangerous to explore by yourself. I have an idea. I will give you a cell phone. Okay. If you have a need for anything, just call. Be good, alright? What was back here? Huh. Well, of course we're going to explore. Ring. Hello? This is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? There are a few puzzles ahead that I have yet to explain. It would be dangerous to try and solve them yourself. Be good, alright? Click. Hmm. Let's go to the save point first. Playfully crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. <laughs> I like it. Now, can we talk to this frog again without him getting a... Uh, the mom stare? Wimsome approached meekly. Oh, look at this little guy. Let's go ahead and console him. Halfway through your first word, Wimsom burst into tears and runs away. Aw. Rabbit. Rabbit. Excuse. Wait, well, actually. Excuse me, human. I have some advice for you about battling monsters. If you act a certain way or fight until you almost defeat them, they might not want to battle you anymore. If a monster does not want to fight you, please, use some mercy, human. Ribbit. Sounds fair. It says take one. Take a piece of candy? Woo, piece of candy. Press C to open the menu. Or, um, a button here. Monster candy. Heals 10 HP. Has a distinct non-licorice flavor. Well, that's the best kind of candy, really. Well, that's good. Go, th go through all the leaves. Wimsome approached meekly again. I don't want to hurt him. Check. Well, can we actually show mercy to Wimsome right off the bat? Yeah. Huh. That's kind of cool. Mm, what we got here? Oh, Lord. Right into the leaves. Froggit, hop close. Hello there, Froggit. Um, let's compliment our froggy friend. Froggit didn't understand what you, what you said, but was flattered anyway. <laughs> Blushes deeply. <laughs> Ribbit. Ooh. Froggit seems reluctant to fight you. Well, that's cool. Um... Mercy. You earn zero XP and two gold. This is gonna be really 
interesting to uh, try and figure out. I'm glad those leaves are soft. Do all of them? I'm kind of curious. And Wimpson approached again. Too sensitive to fight. I have no choice. Wimson continues to mutter apologies. Wow. Hmm. I bet it's just falling. But I want to see if I get an achievement or something doing this. Because this is something I would do if I ran into this kind of situation. <laughs> If I knew the leaves would always be soft. And one more, and then we can move on. Who knows, this actually might be a puzzle. Oh, holy crap, there's a lot of those. Seriously, like, what would you do? Oh, Wimpsome. Can we console? There you go. Well, let's just go ahead and move on. Hello? This is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer? Cinnamon or butterscotch? Oh, I like cinnamon. Oh, I see. Thank you very much. She's gonna make me like cookies or something, isn't she? Hello? This is Toriel. You do not dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is, but... Would you turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? Right? Right. I understand. Thank you for being patient, by the way. Click. I'm always patient. Three out of four gray rocks recommend you push them. Ah. Ah, oh, Wimsome. I'm trying to console you. Bless your heart. Poor soul. Seems too high strung. Oh goodness. Okay. So this one's gonna be a little bit worse for wear. Ah, this might be the blueprint. Please don't step on the leaves. I stepped on the leaves. Hmm. Let's see what happens if I actually flee from Wimsome. Oh, nothing. I figured that would give him a boost to morale. So maybe... So all the way down, and then up. Ooh. Mold small blocked the way. That is a fascinating looking jello mold. Let's flirt with the jello mold. You wiggle your hips. He wiggles back. What a meaningfully meaningful conversation. <laughs> Sexy wiggle. Oh, hello. Oh! The aroma of lime gelatin wafts through. Tasty. Um. Imitate. You feel like you understand the world a little better. Scorch. Waits pensively. Now let's uh, flirt again. Burble burb. At least we're not dealing with the exploding ones. Flirting seems to do the uh, the best. Maybe we can just show mercy.
Zero XP and one gold. Sounds like a plan to me. Didn't you read the sign downstairs? Kind of. Oh! Oh, we have to go all the way down to the bottom. I see. And then work our way back. Hey, Froggit. Ribbit, ribbit. Meow. Oh, flies. You are intimidated by Froggit's raw strength. Only kidding. Okay, he blushed deeply. Let's avoid the flyers. At least we're getting some gold. I assume that's useful. Alright, so here are the leaves. Let's head straight down. There we are. And no call from Toriel. You tripped into a line of mold smalls. Ew. So you can do multiples. Um. Flirt. You wiggle your hips. We're gonna have to do a lot of uh, wiggling. Oh, Lord above. And one gold. I guess we're doing it correctly. If I'm doing that, if I'm doing that poorly. Whoa there, partner. Who said you could push me around? Hmm? So you're asking me to move over? Okay. Just for you, pumpkin. Hmm? You want me to move some more? Alrighty. How's this? Hmm? That was the wrong direction. Okay. Think I got it. Hey, thank you, Mr. Rock. Was that helpful? Yes, it was. Ah! No. You wanted me to stay there? You're giving me a real workout. Ooh, at least it didn't move while we were on there. That would have been bad. And another save point. Knowing the mouse might one day leave its hole and get the cheese fills you with determination. This cheese has been here quite a long time. It's stuck to the table. What about the mouse hole? Aw. Squeak, squeak. Well, one day he'll get it. You just keep on keeping on. Oh, it's a ghost from Pac-Man laying down. Are they gone yet? This ghost keeps saying Z out loud repeatedly, pretending to sleep. Move it with force? Um, no. Can we just walk around it, or...? Well, I guess maybe. Sure. Oh crap. Here comes Napstabluk. He doesn't look particularly happy. This monster doesn't seem to have a sense of humor. Oh, I'm real funny. Aw, look at those tears. Whoa! Pretending to sleep. I'm fine, thanks. Feeling not, <laughs> really not feeling up to it right now, sorry. Act. Let's see what happens when we flirt. I just weigh you down. I got the blues. Ow. Threat. Flirt. We'll try and cheer. 
You give him a patient smile. Heh. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, easy there. Looks just a little bit better. This ghost has had tears for days. All right, well, let's go. Let's do a little bit more cheering. He told him a little joke. He doesn't have a sense of humor, though. Oh, he laughed. Tears aren't nearly as runny anymore. That works so out well. Cheering seems to have improved his mood again. Just plugging along. Ah, here's the runny ones again. We still have the licorice candy if we need it. He wants to show you something. Let me try. I call it Dapper Bluk. Do you like it? Love it! Eagerly awaits your response. Let's flirt. Because he's wearing a dapper hat now. Oh no. I usually come to the ruins because there's nobody around. But today I met somebody nice. Oh. I'm rambling again. I'll get out of your way. Oh, that's nice. A happy ending. Actually, let's go ahead and head back here and save the game, guys. Get filled with determination. And I think this is actually going to be a good place to end the episode. Is the ghost still there? Nope. Clear skies. Hope you guys have enjoyed it so far. I'm actually really digging the sense of humor and the battle system of this. I'm not exactly sure how we're getting XP, but we are getting gold. I guess we only maybe get XP for killing these things. But um, I'll go ahead and uh, we'll pick it up next time. Hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, that'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.